What if everything we thought we knew about our place in the cosmos is wrong? Right now, astronomers estimate there are at least 100 billion habitable planets in our galaxy alone. 100 billion. Are we really to believe we are the only intelligent life among them? For years, I've argued we must take the search for extraterrestrial technology seriously. I face ridicule for my work on Oumuamua. But just three weeks ago, something entered our um solar system that makes Oumuamua look tame. And this time, the evidence is so terrifying that NASA has gone completely silent. My name is Avil Webb. I'm the head of the Galileo Project at Harvard. For decades, I've dedicated my life to the rigorous scientific search for evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. I don't deal in science fiction. I deal in data. But nothing, nothing in my career prepared me for what we are witnessing right now. You see, there's something about my past that I've never discussed publicly. Something that happened in 1987 that changed how I view visitors from space. And what's happening with 3i Atlas? It's confirming my worst fears from that night. Have you ever had a moment where everything you believed about reality just cracked? Where the ground beneath your scientific certainty suddenly felt like quicksand? What I'm about to tell you violates the fundamental laws of physics. Picture this, July 2024. Astronomers detect a faint glimmer against the cosmic backdrop, just another speck of light among billions. They catalog it as 3i Atlas, marking it as the third confirmed interstellar visitor to cross our threshold. Yeah, but here's where everything goes wrong. This object, it's not behaving like anything we've ever seen. There are three impossible things happening that make even me question everything I know about physics. First clue, it's slowing down when it should be speeding up. Uh, second clue, uh, it's hollow when it should be solid. Third clue, well, the third clue is what's keeping NASA scientists awake at night, and I'll reveal it at the eight minute mark. Let me be clear about what we're dealing with here. Um, Oumuamua in 2017 accelerated mysteriously away from our Sunday. Strange, yes. Unexplained, absolutely, but it still moved in the expected direction outward, I suggested at the time, based on the data that it might be artificial, a light sail, perhaps. I was met with resistance from the mainstream, but I was quietly running calculations in my Laboratory 3. I Atlas is doing something that should be impossible. It's not just violating our expectations, it's violating the laws of physics themselves. And the implications they're far more profound than anyone realizes. I need you to understand what I felt when I first saw the velocity data. My hands were shaking as I checked the calculations. Three times, four times, five times, three moments in physics history were about to converge. 1977, Voyager leaves our solar system, um, humanity's first interstellar message. 2017, um, MUA arrives, our first confirmed interstellar visitor. 2025-3, the Sun Atlas begins what appears to be controlled deceleration. Everyone assumes space objects follow predictable trajectories, Newton's laws, Kepler's orbits, Einstein's relativity. These are the bedrock of celestial mechanics. We must understand why this is so shocking. Our understanding of the solar system is built on gravitational mechanics. An object falls toward the sun, gains speed, whips around it at perihelion, and is flung back out, losing speed as it fights the sun's gravity. This is Celestial Mechanics 101. But what if everything we thought we knew about interstellar visitors was based on incomplete data? What if an object uses propulsion? What if it's not a rock but a vehicle? Then all bets are off. It's no longer physics. It's engineering, and that is the terrifying possibility we are facing. Part of me wants to dismiss this as an instrumentation error, a measurement mistake, anything that preserves our comfortable understanding of physics. But I've spent my entire career teaching others to follow the evidence, no matter how uncomfortable it makes us. And the evidence is screaming something I never thought I'd say publicly. The moment that changed everything for me happened at 3.47 a.m. on October 15th. I was alone in my study, staring at the latest data from the James Webb Telescope when I realized we might not be alone but that realization pales in comparison to what the data revealed next. Multiple independent observatories confirmed the impossible. 3i Atlas decelerated from 68.2 kilometers per second to 67.9 kilometers per second between September 23rd and 26th. Pause for a moment and think, what natural force could cause an object traveling at over 150,000 miles per hour to slow down in the vacuum of space? Solar radiation pushes objects away from the Sunday, 
Gravity pulls them faster, not slower. This isn't a comet outgassing. The deceleration is precise and there is no cometary tail. Now, I'll bet you're thinking this has to be measurement error. That's what I hoped, too. But when five different telescope arrays on three continents confirm the same impossible data, here's the third clue I promised you. Three Atlas isn't just slowing down randomly. The deceleration events happen precisely when Earth-based observatories have optimal viewing conditions. It's almost as if it knows it's being watched. Every physicist I've shared this with has the same reaction, stunned silence followed by desperate attempts to find conventional explanations. But what happened next is what terrifies me most as a scientist. NASA, the European Space Agency, um, China's space program, they all went silent simultaneously. The data exists. The instruments function perfectly, but somehow the information pipeline just stopped, and I know why. Standing in that classified briefing room three days ago, looking at images I cannot legally describe, I understood why they're keeping this secret. Uh, what we're dealing with isn't just scientifically revolutionary, it's psychologically devastating. Uh, because 3i Atlas isn't alone, and what's traveling with it will redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. Gemini Observatory, images from October 8th, reveal something that still gives me chills. Multiple smaller objects traveling in perfect formation alongside 3i Atlas. Imagine objects the size of city blocks maintaining precise distances across millions of miles of space synchronized like dancers in a cosmic ballet. At first embarrassment, had we missed something so obvious then confusion? How is this geometrically possible? Uh, this isn't a comet breaking apart. Debris clouds are chaotic. They spread out. This is structured. This is organized. Then fear because perfect formation requires intelligence. Every human has wondered, are we alone? For 3i Atlas, that question isn't philosophical anymore. It's observational. 1987. Um, I was 39 years old working at the Institute for Advanced Study when a colleague at Princeton shared classified radio telescope data, a signal structured repeating artificial for 37 years. I've wondered if that signal was real or instrumental error 3. I Atlas just answered that question my wife asked me three days ago. A.V., what aren't you telling me she's seen me excited about discoveries before, but never terrified, never like this? As a physicist, my job is to explore impossible possibilities, but when impossible becomes observable reality, when theories become threats to everything we thought we knew, the final piece of evidence will either confirm we're witnessing natural phenomena or first contact October 29th through 31st. That's our deadline. When 3i Atlas reaches perihelion, its closest approach to our sun, physics will force its true nature into the open. Three scenarios, each more unsettling than the last. Scenario one, 3i Atlas fragments like a normal comet. Mystery solved, universe restored to comfortable predictability. Scenario two, it survives intact, suggesting internal architecture beyond anything natural. Scenario three, it uses perihelion to adjust its trajectory, confirming intentional navigation. By now you're probably hoping for scenario one, right? Trust me, so am I, but the mathematical probability calculation suggests I've spent this entire conversation focused on three atlas as an external phenomenon. But what if we reverse perspective? What if we're the ones being studied? First revelation, 3i Atlas demonstrates controlled propulsion. Second revelation, it carries companions in organized formation. Third revelation, it arrived precisely when our technology became sophisticated enough to detect it. For thousands of years, uh, humanity was effectively blind to interstellar visitors. Then suddenly in just eight years, Omu, Mua, Borisov, and now three Atlas, each more anomalous than the last. What if this isn't coincidence? What if it's a curriculum? The scientist in me demands skepticism, rigorous testing, conventional explanations, but the evidence is overwhelming conventional explanations. Yesterday, I made a decision that will define the rest of my career. I'm going public with data that certain institutions prefer. Uh, remain classified because I realized something fundamental about the nature of discovery itself. Wait, let me share what my mentor Carl Shawn often said. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. But he also believed, as I do, that absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. And when extraordinary evidence accumulates, we must have extraordinary courage to accept it. 
Every generation faces a moment when reality expands beyond their comfortable assumptions, Galileo's moons, Darwin's evolution, Einstein's relativity. Uh, here's what I believe is happening. Based on 37 years of physics and three weeks of impossible data, somewhere in the vast darkness between stars, civilizations have mastered interstellar travel, not through brute force propulsion, but through elegant physics we've barely begun to understand. Three, I Atlas isn't just visiting our solar system, it's evaluating us, testing our observation capabilities, our scientific maturity, our readiness for contact. Right now as I speak these words, that evaluation is continuing, and based on our response to Umuama Boris, and now three Atlas, we're either passing or failing a test we never knew we were taking. October 29th will answer questions that have haunted humanity since we first looked up at the stars and wondered, are we alone? I want you to mark that date, watch the news. Pay attention to what space agencies do and don't announce because their silence will be as revealing as their statements. Here is the lesson I want you to take away from this. The universe is not required to conform to our expectations. True science, true discovery is not about reinforcing what we already know. It's about having the courage to look at the anomalies, the data that doesn't fit, and ask why. It's about being willing to be called a heretic today for a discovery that will be textbook fact tomorrow. What started as one physicist curiosity about an anomalous object has become humanity's first confirmed glimpse of interstellar intelligence in action. The man speaking to you now is different from the one who began studying 3 I Atlas three weeks ago. I've gone from skeptic to reluctant believer to terrified advocate for transparent disclosures. Subscribe if you want to follow this story as it unfolds because something tells me 3 Atlas is just the beginning. And if I'm wrong about all of this, if 3i Atlas proves entirely natural, I'll be the first to admit it. But if I'm right, we'll need to completely rewrite our understanding of our place in the universe. This analysis represents my personal interpretation of available data and should not be considered official NASA or academic consensus. All theoretical scenarios discussed are speculative pending further observation. But sometimes as scientists, we must have the courage to voice possibilities that make us uncomfortable because the universe doesn't care about our comfort zones. What do you think 3i Atlas represents? A natural phenomenon or something more? Leave your theory in the comments. And remember, October 29th, we'll know for certain.